So girls, we got kind of a special Glock here on the range today. Go ahead and open it up. Ooh. Oh wow. Wow. This oh is God. the 40 Gen 4 Glock. It's the most powerful Glock ever made. 10 millimeter, six inch. Is it powerful? Yeah, uh, yeah. you're gonna find out in a minute. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> okay. Hold it up next to say the Glock 34. I've never seen that before. Which is the longest production one out right now. The only one that can compare to it is over there, the, the Glock 17L or the Glock 24. Right. So this is, you move that one out of here. Yeah. So that one see. is a six, they're both six inches, uh -huh. but this is much more power and I'll show you why. So there's your nine millimeter on the right. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, 115 grain bullet going on whatever, 1300 feet per second. It's, mm -hmm. it's a good round. This here is the 40 caliber. What that is, it's a short 10 millimeter. The 10 mil came out first, then they couldn't fit into, into like regular size Glocks. Mm -hmm. So they invented the Glock 23 and the Glock 22 and came out with, the, with that one. Then this is the 10 mil. It's a big, powerful round. It's not super popular. It's kind of regaining some popularity now. Then there's the 45 ACP. That's extremely popular. So the two most popular by far is the ones on the bookends, the nine and the 45. This one has a lot more capacity. This has, seems to be more stopping power, a bigger bullet. Mm. Purpose of the gun is guys like it for carrying it. If they go out in the mountains, a big bear could bum rush them. They've got like 16 rounds of some power that's close to like a 41 Magnum. Otherwise, they carry like a Smith & Wesson, titanium, 44 Magnum, holds six rounds. It's more powerful than that, but the capacity of that is, is pretty cool. Our base pad will bump another bunch of rounds, but um, they don't lock open. It's just a long story. But if you want to try the gun out, see what the power is like. We have a mag loaded here. It's 170 grain bullets from Seller & Bell. It's a really good ammo company. Mm -hmm. Juliet, scoot back a little bit. There's enough in there. Enough? Yeah. All right, maybe two or three on that bucket really quick. How is the recoil compared to say a 34? Oh my God, it's big. The recoil is awesome. It's yeah. huge, but it's so powerful. Gosh, look at this. Yeah. This one is set up with suppressor sights. They're going to put a, probably an RMR or SRO on there. So. Wow, that is so powerful. It's crazy. That's amazing. That is crazy. It's not often that people order it, but... So people will order to go hunting, right? And... It's just a great gun to have up in the wilderness because, you know, a nine is not going right. to really do the work. No. Right. These animals so don't give a crap. Powerful. And that would barely do the job, probably, but it's going to be a lot better than anything else. You could split the difference. You could get bring a, a 40 caliber Glock uh -huh. and get some hot-ass ammo from, like, Georgia Arms. I don't think they're in, in business anymore, but uh -huh. I shot Georgia Arms 40 versus 10 millimeter. It was insanely hot. It was right there with a, with a 10 mil. So, but that's rare if that ammo's out there. You can hand load it, but ideally you probably go with the 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. This thing's still bleeding out. <laughs>